In this video, I am going to show you how to install Odoo 17 in Ubuntu operating system. In this video, I am using the graphical installation of Odoo 17. First, we need to download Odoo application from Odoo website. For that, we need to search in Google Odoo 17 download. Otherwise, you can use the reference link for direct downloading. Then enter the details for downloading the Odoo. Here, we need to download Odoo 17. Ubuntu Debian version. I am just pressing the download button. Now it will start to download the Odoo. Here, once after downloading, I am moving the application to desktop. Then we can open the application or we can run the application. Here we will get the option to install Odoo 17. Here we need to press the install button. Then enter the password of admin user. Then press authenticate. Now the installation has been started. The system should be connected in the internet until finish the installation. Now the installation is going on. We need to wait until the installation finishes. Now the installation has been finished. Now we can access the Odoo using the web browser. If the firewall is enabled, you are unable to access from the outside network. In that case, you need to switch off firewall either using command or directly. Here I am locally opening the Odoo and we need to enter the master passwords and database details. The master password is very important for us. It is using for managing their database. Fill complete details and then press create database. Now we are able to log in with the Odoo. Enter the username and password. Here we can see our Odoo is loaded. Same way if you want to activate any module, we can press the activate button. It will start to activate that module. Once after finishing the module activation, we will get the feature in the Odoo. If you want to manage the database, you can go to manage database. Then if you want to backup the database, you can backup. For the backup process, you can refer the below reference link. Here I am showing how to take the duplicate. For this one, we require master password. Press the duplicate button, then enter the master password and then enter the new database name. If it is neutralized in the data, the data will be neutralized. But you can log in the database. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.